I got my nickels out of that one. There's my stroke of brilliance. Right on the money. Couple of boogers. That looks like a chicken. Hey y'all, welcome back to Johnson Family Outdoors. Part two of the trailer build. I gotta stop pointing at you guys, but I'm pointing. Got a little bit of work done off camera. We got some welding done up, and then I got a stroke of brilliance. Doesn't happen too often with me, but I had one. So as you know, I was originally gonna cut these off. Then I decided to leave them on. And I'm just gonna put a little spacer, a piece of angle iron up in here to stiffen it up and away you go. Well, there's my stroke of brilliance. Watch this. I cut the angle iron here. I then bend it up inside this angle iron and I'm gonna run a bead of weld across here. It almost actually looks like it's supposed to be there. Look at that. Nice little angle on it. Same with the one up there. Obviously this don't have one. But it don't happen often guys, but I got one, so I'm gonna brag about it just a little bit. I've already went and cut that side right there. I'm gonna go pound it up with a hammer so I get the angle on them. We're gonna weld them up, then this baby here is ready for paint because I've already got all the welds ground down because the weld the grinder will make me the welder that I'm not. I've learned that from the beginning. Anyway, let's get that bent up. Just like that. All right, so we got uh, both sides bent up there, all the way in front. All I'm left to do is get them welded up. Well, for now, the uh, welding is done. All the braces are welded up all the way around. You gotta love that little welder, that little benchmark welder. Now, it's not a gas, it's a MIG welder. Flux core, but it does a great job. Hey, we're talking about getting your money's worse? Worse? No, worth? Look at that disc. Hey, I got my nickels out of that one. So what I'm probably gonna do now all them welds got to cool off before I throw some paint on there. I don't want to booger that up, but uh, it turned out pretty good. Bed frames. Who would have thunk it? Well, a lot of you would have thunk it, but I used them and uh, they worked out pretty good. So I'm going to let all this stuff cool off. I'm going to clean up all my tools. I'm going to go have some dinner and probably get back on this in the morning. So we'll see you then. Well, it is the next morning. We are back on the trailer. Well, next morning. It is, well, it's a morning. Let's just put it that way. It's been a couple of days. We got to get some cross braces put in here. I'm not happy with just the angle iron here. It's probably pretty solid for what we're going to be hauling with it, but I have some of this left over. Actually, this is the only length. The rest of the piece I got is smaller. We're going to weld this every four feet, and I'm going to have to go get some more. But for now, let's get this one cut down to size and weld it in place so we can see how it looks. see this is uh pretty thick stuff what eight inch eighth inch thick not eight inches thick it's eight inch stick stick i mean i can't even talk today plan is to get this piece welded in across here at the four foot mark our deck is going to come right to the edge here so we're going to measure from here down four feet do the same on the other side then we'll get our distance across Alright, so there's our four foot mark. Gonna do the same on the other side. Our distance across. 
It's going to be 61 inches. Right on the money. Alright, so this is where it's going to be. It's going to split the four foot mark. I was hoping for it to be a little tighter, but it's not bad. We're just going to bevel the edges here so that we can get a decent weld, and then we'll get it tacked into place. make that work. Got ourselves a nice little gap there. We'll just get this welded in. Got it all welded up. A couple of boogers, but the welding's getting better. Same with this side over here. Got it down. We got it all the way around, including the bottom. You know what they say. It'll hold or it won't. Since I've already got that one full cross piece in there, that gray one, down there. There you go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to piece two straight braces in the front. And I'm going to run two long ones down here and then go off to the sides. Probably shouldn't have put that one there, but... It's there, so it's staying. And I don't have enough steel, so I'm having to piece this together. So I've got probably enough to make two of these rails to go in here. And I got to hit marketplace looking for some more steel. Just a utility trailer. I'm not carrying cars, so I'm not worried about it. Let's get this piece welded in. All right. So the distance from here to the front is 47 and an eighth, and I cut it long intentionally. Just have it on the money here. Well, I'm going to say that's uh, pretty darn close. I just got to get this tacked in here. Pick this up without breaking the tack on the other end. That's a no. This one you need four hands.
What's the old saying? Grinder and paint will make me the welder I ain't. If we uh, look up here, see I blew a few holes in there. I think we're gonna fill those holes. There. That looks much better. <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for this portion of the video. Two reasons. One, I'm officially out of steel. Two, well, we're going to get some pumpkins. You wanna come? All right, come on, let's go get some pumpkins. here this would be a dodge not sure what year but check that out also a vintage farm mall that looks nice really nice all right let's uh get back to the pumpkins that's why we're here This one, Mom? Yes, that one. Okay, this one. That one. Come on. I think I'm only here for the grunt work. How much of those? $2. Dad, look at it. Only cool. <laughs> so this place is in Jeanette's Creek, and we come here every year. So you have to be going by, stop in. Uh, payment is on the honor system, so don't be a jerk. And we got this really cute looks like a gourd, chicken. and it kind of looks like a chicken. All right, I think we're going to leave this one right here at the pumpkin farm. Man, I love that truck. We're going to continue on the trailer build. Well, we're going to have to get that thing done because the snow is about to fly. As you see, we are picking pumpkins. So I'll see you all in the next one. Later.